Okay, now we're going to show you how to play Joust on the uh, King mode. So in King mode, we're going to shuffle up these cards. This is the field. All these cards are the field. And we're going to place them out going from left to right. Queen, King, oh, right next to each other. Bishop, loud crowd, loud crowd, loud crowd, bad guy, D keeper, squire, loud crowd, black cat, and crusaders. Now, on this game, it all, uh, it, you're trying to get, um, you're trying to have most of the 13 coins. I have cubes here, but most of the 13 coins, um, by the time this pool runs out, this would be the pool, and you're running towards each other, uh, trying to get things to gather uh, coins. And also, if you pass the other person or land on them, then they give you one of their coins. So you still want to win, but you're also trying to figure out who you want to land on and um, what your strategy is going to be. Now, uh, who's closest to the squire? Sir William is, so he's going to go first. He can move two or three. If he moves one, two, he has to remove any card from the round, any card here that has not been claimed. Uh, and it's taken out of the game. Or he can move here, immediately flip a coin from the pool. If it lands heads, keep it. So he's going to move there. And he will take one of these coins, so we're going to pretend these are coins, and he's going to flip it, and it's heads, so he gets to keep it. So he'll keep it. Uh, Sir Roland can move uh, two to the king or three to the bishop. The king will allow him to take one coin. The bishop allows him to take two coins if he already owns the crusaders. So he wants to go to the king because he'll take one coin. If he had the queen, then he would get another coin as well. So he's going to get a coin. Now, Sir William the White's turn. Actually, this is a claimed card. Sir William the White owns it now. This is a claimed card. Sir Roland owns it now. And Sir William's going to go again. He can go 1 2 to the beekeeper or 1 2 3 to the bad guy. Doesn't want to go to the bad guy because they'd have to return his coin to the pool. So he's going to go 1 2 to the beekeeper. You can move 1, 2, or 3 next turn. So he'll be able to choose that. Of course, he probably isn't going to move 1 because he'd have to return a coin to the pool. So Roland, uh, 2 or 3. Either way, he's going to get a loud crowd. But now he has to see if he goes 3. Sir William can go one, two, three, and land on him. So he's only going to go two. One, two, and he's going to take this. He's going to immediately flip a coin, and oh, it's tails, so he doesn't get it. That just stays in the pool. Sir William can move one, two, or three. If he moves a one, he's going to return a coin to the pool, and then Sir Roland's going to go over there and uh, land on him. Uh, if he moves two, then he can flip a coin and he'll get one. Sir Roland will go over there and land on him. Uh, or three, same thing, loud uh, crowd. He's only to, going to go one to return a coin to the pool because he would rather that the coin go to the pool rather than to Sir Roland, who's going to go one, two, three. And um, that would be the end of the round. And then these are all shuffled up. And... Played again at the end of this first round. Sir Roland has one coin. Sir William has none. That's really a pretty slow round. Usually at the end of the round, um, you have about uh, uh, three, maybe four coins taken. So usually a game would take uh, about um, one, two, three, four, five, five rounds or so. There are some rounds where only one coin is taken, but on any given round, a coin will be taken. Um, and uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's There are only two cards that send coins back to the pool, so it's more likely that the coins will be taken away from the pool. But this is a more advanced game uh, for the more advanced um, uh, kids that would be interested in sort of reading and having these cards change what they're going to do. Okay, Squire is closest to William. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sir Roland, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Sir William gets to go first. He's going to go three to this loud crowd. And he's going to flip. Oh, and he gets ahead. So he's 
I'm going to get this, keep it. Uh, Sir Roland gets to go two or three. He doesn't want to return a coin to the pool, so he's going to go to the bishop, which he uh, doesn't get anything for. But when he goes next, he'll be able to go one, two, three, and take two coins if he already owns the bishop, which he does. Sir William is going to go one, two to the black cat. And Sir William is going to remove any one card from the round that hasn't been claimed. This Crusader has not been claimed, so he's going to remove it. So Sir Roland can't get that uh, cube. Sir Roland, one, two. Oh, he's going to he's going to lose. So he can either go to the beekeeper and lose or to the queen. He's going to go to the queen because if he loses this round, one, two, three, he instead puts this coin back into the pool instead of giving it to the, to um, to Sir William. And that's how the game is played. Uh, and you just keep going through those rounds until somebody, uh, until this pool is all used up. And, um, or until you guys decide, oh, okay, that's enough. Let's just play one more round of this. And whoever has the most at the end of the round, uh, we'll call it that way. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy this. And I hope that you get a chance to try this out with your children um, if you have them. I have a child, except he is 10 months old, so the only game I play with him is spit out whatever it is that you found on the floor, uh, because he likes to eat everything on the floor. He can't uh, play this, uh, because he would try to eat them instead. But I uh, hope you. I hope I did say 10 month old. I didn't mean to say 10 year old, but hopefully I said 10 month old, because um, that's what he does at 10 months. Eats everything on the floor. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're a parent, you've been there, you know about that. But anyway, this game is Joust, uh, and I hope that uh, your kids and you get a chance to enjoy it. Thank you.